<laughs> well, Welcome back. Lily's a little, back. A little bit scared. <laughs> She's got the death grip on my arm. We've been talking about this story all week long. One of the last things that you would expect to have happen when you're on an airplane is to get stung by a scorpion. But that's exactly what happened to one man from Arizona. And apparently six scorpions snuck into his carry-on bag, and one of them stung him, and the man was not seriously injured. That's the good news here. Brian Rolfe works at the Seattle Bug Safari. He's brought in a, the same type of scorpion that was on that southwest plane. Good morning. Good morning. Um, who are our friends here? Well, uh, this is the Arizona bark scorpion. Mm -hmm. This is the, the little, little one. Not, yeah, the little one. Let's see if we can get a shot of it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, um, I, I've been trying to lift this lid off, but they're very, very fast, and we're, I'm a little concerned about it crawling out. Sure. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So am I. Yeah, so, so did it Lily's surprise you, there. Brian, when you found out that these things had gotten on the plane? Did it surprise you? No, not at all. Um, you know, insects and other creatures make it on into our bags and luggage and in our shoes uh, all the time. So oh my. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, where his bag was sitting before he picked it up to get on the plane. Wow. Okay, so not unusual. So this is a bark scorpion. Mm -hmm. uh, most people think all scorpions are deadly, and it's something we picked up from TV and the movies. So if you could set the record straight, how dangerous are scorpions? Well, um, most of them are not dangerous at all, unless you have like uh, an allergic reaction to those. Uh, worldwide, there's about a couple dozen species that are deadly to humans. Uh, in North America, the the um, Arizona bark scorpion is the deadliest one, mm -hmm. uh, but it's really for a healthy um, um, adult, it's really not that deadly. Would it be like a bee sting? Um, not from this one. Mm -hmm. uh, this one would definitely be, it's like your hands on fire. Wow. And like the gentleman described, 50 bee stings all oh, at one time. Man. Uh, but wow. so for um, little kids or adults with lowered immune systems, that's when it could be potentially a, a life threatening instance. You also have a bigger scorpion in the in the in that. Right. This case is a right there. this is an um, Asian forest scorpion. Um, the venom from this one is like a wasp sting. Not bad at all. Really? It's these gigantic pinchers that you really want to watch out for. That is um, wild. He's huge. He's like four or five inches across. Yeah, and that's oh, a, yeah. a full grown female. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty aggressive. Ah. And you see how she just reacts, and that's what her. It's all defensive. They they're a big show pinch sting. Mm -hmm. Uh, you really want to watch out for the pinchers. The pinchers on, on her are really strong and they'll cut your skin. Ooh. Okay, so you handle scorpions daily. Mm -hmm. How nervous are you about these little guys? Uh, well, it depends on where they're at and what I'm doing. Uh, this creature is on display down at the Bug Safari and we show this to kids that come in on field trips all the time. We show this particular specimen. Um, I, I know how she reacts and I always use these gigantic tongs that have pads on the end for their safety. Okay. Um, but this little guy, we don't really like um, messing with these too much. Uh, when we're moving them, we're, we take extra precaution to make sure she can't get away because she is really fast. Yeah, so it's, is it, what's it doing right there? They're just kind of saying, get away from me? Is that what that pose is? Uh, the Asian forest scorpion? Or they're both kind of just kind of frozen. Yeah, yeah. The, um, the bark scorpion is kind of like in a frozen mode. It, I think it knows that it's in, in captured in this little uh, case oh. here. This, this, the big female Asian forest scorpion is on defense. She knows that something's up. Wow. Okay. Well, Brian, uh, this is cool stuff. I'm definitely going to stop by the Seattle Bug Safari to check things out. Thanks a lot for giving us a little more info. Sure, you're welcome. About to cool. the scorpion. Thank wow. you, Brian. You're welcome. <laughs>